Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about E and its properties. To understand E, we need to understand its problem, Bernoulli's problem. Jacob Bernoulli had had put up an interesting question. He said, if we invest a sum of one dollar and get an interest of hundred percent for one year, it would become two dollar. If again we invest one dollar and get an interest of 50% for 2 years by compounded interest it would become 2.25 dollar then an interest of 25% for 4 years would give us 2.44 dollar if we go on what would be the amount if the interest is 100 divided by n percent for n years where n is a large number it would be 2.718 now I will explain how we arrived at this value this is the virtual visual representation of the problem through the help of a table and graph Bernoulli's question was answered almost half a century later by Leonard Euler using the formula of compounded interest Euler said that limit x tending to infinity 1 plus 1 by x raised to the power x then using binomial theorem it would become 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial and the series goes on this is known as e named after Euler Thus, Ex is equal to 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial and the series goes on. He determined the value of E to be approximately 2.718. E has many special properties, making it very useful. Like pi, E is also an irrational number. Therefore, it cannot be represented as a fraction. The differentiation and integration of Ex gives Ex. In logarithm, when E is used as the base, it is known as natural log. It also leads to the Taylor series, cos and sin values. It has many further representations as the following. I hope you all have got an overview of E. Thank you.